that we are going to talk about today we are going to learn about the grammar of koto wa nani nani ga something like this the grammar of koto wa nani nani ga is mean or thought or about or but or thought or but so in Japanese when you use the grammar of koto wa nani nani ga you should use with the verb and adjective including na adjective and e adjective but when you use uh, with the verb you should use uh, in the casual form and for the na adjective and e adjective you can use in that form nothing can be changed and followed by koto wa and after koto wa you use the same if you use use the same verb the same nice tip and the same each tip and followed by ga something like this for example i use a uh, iku koto wa and after wa i should use a uh, the same right so it should be iku koto ga something like this and for example of uh, nice tip and easy tip it's just the same so you use start by what verb you should use after koto wa by that verb or h tip right and after that you end by ga something like this so to make more understand about how to use the grammar of koto wa nani nani ga right so the next we are continue to see some example of how to use the grammar of koto wa nani nani ga the first example party e wa ikeru koto wa ikeru ga tabun ichichikan kurai chikoku suru party wa ikeru koto wa ikeru ga tabun that means I can go to the party but I will probably be about one hour late I can go to the party but I will probably be about one hour late right so in this sentence you will see that they use the verb of ikeru right so after kotoba should be the same verb ikeru right so you start by what verb you should end by that verb party wa ikeru koto wa ikeru ga right so in here for the ga in here is mean but right is mean but or or thought tabu ichikan Gurai chiyoku suru that means you will be late about one hour right. that, that means something that you can do but something can happen with you it is an it is December what happened that means that you will be late about one hour so this is about how to use the gamma of koto wa nani nani ga right so the next example エンサンの勉強をしたことはしたが合格できるか自信がないエンサンの勉強をしたことはしたが合格できるか自信がないです mean I thought I study for the JLPT N3 I don't have confidence I can pass or thought I study for the JLPT entry, I don't have confidence I can pass. That means uh, in this sentence, you see first that uh, they use the gram the uh, verb suru, right? But the change to be the past tense, so shita koto wa and and by that verb shita ga, right? So you will see that uh, when you use uh, the koto 
ว่านี่นี่กะ so uh, that mean before k o t o b a is mean the subject but big subject right is uh, the small or is the plus or is a crowd of subject not just uh, I be you they he she it not just that but it's be the small sub sentence right and s o m o when he or she talk o t o w a right and uh, in Japanese when you use a uh, subject and should be wa right so and k o t o w a right sta ga so ga in ga here is mean or thought or but something like this. g o k a k u de kibu ka j i s i n g a nai, right? That means that you already study about entry, lesson about entry, but you not confident that you pass the examination. So you can say or thought or but, right? Or thought I study for the JLPT entry, I could I don't have confident that I can pass because you. You haven't applied for that simulation before, right? You just study only the detail of the lesson only. So this is how to use the uh, grammar of koto wa nani nani ga. Let's see the next example. Atarashi game mo omoshiroi koto wa omoshiroi ga. Mukashi no game no ho ga suki da. 新しいゲームも面白いことは面白いが昔のゲームの方が好きだ。Which means new games are still interesting, but I prefer older games. New games are still interesting, but I prefer older games. You see that in this sentence we use uh, the verb. Not the verb. They use the e h t omoshiroi, right? Omoshiroi is mean interesting. Omoshiroi koto wa, right? In here they use the e h t e h t omoshiroi, and they also end that verb in that e h t omoshiroi ga something like this. Mukashi no game no ho ga suki da, right? That mean uh, in the uh, meaning of the sentence that uh, they want to explain, they want to compare between new game and old game, right? In this sentence, they said that uh, the new game is interesting, but the person that say about the sentence that he or she like the old game prefer. More than the new game, right? So you see that uh, before koto wa is mean the subject, long subject. a t a l a s i game mo mo m u s h i r o i koto wa is mean you want to tell that uh, new game is interesting. o m u s h i r o i ga that mean interesting, right? The interesting is interest, but or thought. Even that, right? Something like this. Mukashi no game no ho ga suki des. I like or I prefer the older games. Something like this. Nihongo wa hanaseru koto wa hanaseru desu ga. Nichi jo kaiwa shika dekimasen. Nihongo wa hanaseru koto wa hanaseru desu ga. 日常会話しかできません。Which means that I can speak Japanese, but can only do daily conversation stuff. I can speak Japanese, but can only do daily conversation stuff. You see that in this sentence we use the verb hanaseru, right? Bi kotoba hanaseru kotoba, right? And end by that verb, hanaseru desu ga, right? Nichijo kaiwa shika dekimasen. Nihongo wa hanaseru koto wa. This mean this mean is the small sentence to be the subject of the 
uh, long sentence, right? Hana selim this ga, which means that he or they can speak. Ga is in but or thought, right? You can translate with but or thought, right? Nichi jo kaiwa shika dekimasen, which means that he can uh, make the conversation, daily conversation only. He cannot write the kanji, he cannot read really difficult kanji. He cannot understand uh, about something that really difficult about Japanese. So this is about how to use the grammar of Kotowa and Nani Nani I think it's useful Thank you very much for, for watching my video clip. And please help me subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. 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 Th